Welcome back everyone. All right, today we're gonna to talk a little bit about pistons and the direction they go. <clears throat> now today I was changing over, obviously, this eaten up piston and cylinder on a bike. <clears throat> and somebody asked me, how do you know which way the piston goes in? Which is a legitimate question because some of them have their number stamped on top and or a direction. Let's see if we can get that up clear enough. See, that one has a number two, and it has the arrow to tell me to point it toward the exhaust port or the front of the engine. However you want to look at that. I go with just exhaust port. Now, I have two other aftermarket pistons from different companies. They're both the same piston, according to the mic. But the little catch on those is one is Mark II, one is Mark III. Now, that's not the catch. The catch is, you ask yourself, do they want me to put it in there so I can read the number two at the face of the engine, at the beginning, at the front of the engine, which would be the exhaust side? Or do they want the number two back here, being this piston had its number two on the intake side, where number two, there we go, went to the intake side. Now, here's where you, as the mechanic, have to decide which way that piston goes. Now, one thing I have always noticed in common of the little two-cycle bike motor pistons, and this is just an 80 for the example I'm going to show you here in a second. It has its number two on it and its arrow to help you, the mechanic, put the piston in there the desired direction. Now, I noticed that every piston, when it is in there in its desired direction, the pins that are in the ring grooves that keep the piston ring from rotating as the engine runs, I marked these white, so hopefully you can see them a little better on that charred up piston, are always facing the rear, the intake side of the bike. That arrow points to the front, so I say this one as soon as I figure out where I'm at. Exhaust port and intake side. And I must reiterate that the pins are toward the back. Now this piston doesn't have an arrow, it just has a number two. So it gets a little confusing on what way you should put that piston in your bike. Do they want the two at the exhaust port or do they want the two at the intake port? There's really no way of knowing if you're new to this. And right there is its pin. Let me get that. See where your pin is to keep your ring from rotating. As soon as it focuses on that dude. And there's my other one. So throughout the years, I have always noticed to put the pins toward the intake side, the back side of the engine. Like I said, everyone's different. Some pistons come with absolutely nothing stamped on the top. So you have absolutely nothing to base it on. Unless you have noticed, like I have throughout the years. Now this one, the three will be upside down on the intake side to keep the pins on this particular piston. And focus again. All right, there's a little pin. Hopefully you can see that little guy. There we go. Now if I turn that to the front, thinking that would be the exhaust, then the ring gaps might be by a cylinder port going up and down, scratching on my cylinder port edge and on the edge of my piston rings, which is no good, which will scar up your cylinder turn your refreshing into junk and now you got to buy a new piston and cylinder because that one just got ate up. So I always base it regardless of what's on top other than the arrow that when I install my piston my keepers, my little stud keepers and my ring groove will be to the back. Now if you notice this one is 80cc but it's pointed to the exhaust. There's my number. That one goes in, which looks like it would be a natural. But the main thing that all of them have in common, when the arrow is on them, 
regardless of the number that the little piston keepers there's that one and a little farther around is that one for its stagger always go to the back of the engine on every single one of these back of the engine back of the engine even though that one is facing the front and reads normally the big coincidence is all of them go to the back of the engine even if that three on this particular one is upside down where's three there you go is upside down from the others it all hinges on the pins this one arrow to the front number two to the back reads normal yet the pins are toward the back of the engine if i don't drop that brand new piston on the ground pins there and pin is there so anyway if you are new to working on your own engine maybe you got a bunch of high miles and you're going to freshen it up for winter or whatever the case may be always make sure your keepers for your rings to not rotate are always toward the back of the piston toward the intake side and you shouldn't have any problems when you fire up your bike make sure you lube the cylinder Put a little lubricant on the piston and rings before you assemble it. That way it's not going up and down dry in your cylinder. And after you put everything together, you should be able to go outside and your bike will fire right up. Okay, well, I hope this answered somebody's question that was having a little problem deciding which way their piston should go after they bought an aftermarket piston and it didn't have an arrow or a number or anything on top. Just always remember to put your pins toward the rear, pin and pin. Face that toward the rear, and usually you can't go wrong.